hello welcome to my channel once again once again today i am bringing you a video of african americans a family that moved from america as a new york to ghana about six months ago and they have actually been sharing the reason why they moved from america to ghana and some of the annoying things that they have been experiencing in ghana so i want you to watch this video let's come back and talk about it all right so why did we move to ghana so yeah i think top reason was i have a best friend that's ghanaian i visited him and his family well he brought me to ghana back in 2016 uh so i'm really close with his family and his family lives here in kumasi in the crowd as well but you know that was probably the one reason why we picked ghana over some of the other places we had on our list um another top reason is children mm -hmm. you know um just how children are viewed in ghana <clears throat> how they're protected they're taken care of um another another one was english the countries we were looking at before deciding on ghana they didn't speak english so that's in ghana they do speak true but they also predominantly speak English, which is a plus for our kids just to communicate for ourselves too. It yeah. would just be too much to have to uplift five people and then have to learn a whole new language. So that is a fact. That helped out a lot. And anything else? I think the last thing is probably like quality of life. Mm -hmm. You know, you compare. So obviously, not obviously, but we're from New York, we're from America. Uh, quality of life there is pretty poor. It's terrible food. Food is all poison, chemicals, GMO, this, that, and the third. Um, things are extremely expensive. So, you know, for a house that we live in now, six bedrooms, six bath, we'd be paying at least like eight to ten thousand dollars a month for that easily in New York, probably more. And that's renting. Um, space. You know what I'm saying we're from New York, so. We, we our kids were growing up in an apartment building um her parents have a house but you know it's just the dynamic of new york you don't really get much space bang for your buck so here's part two of reasons why we chose to move to ghana uh, i think that first video we did was a bit high level and we left like a lot of things out and there's probably actually more parts to this because um yeah it's a lot of reasons it's a lot of a lot of reasons we were definitely looking for a country with, whose uh, local currency is weaker than the dollar. We both earn the dollar through remote jobs. So obviously earning a dollar and, and spending a weaker currency, we have more buying power. That just allows us to have a, a higher quality of life um, and you know, either maintain or have a better lifestyle than we had in New York. So somebody commented on that video, um, my other video about why we chose to move here. I said it should the reason should be level of hospitality, acceptance and uh peace uh here in Ghana and I wholeheartedly agree. So all three of those things were on our list of like reasons of why Ghana is a good place for our family to move to. Um, so level of hospitality, like A one hospitality here, like when I came in twenty sixteen, uh my friend's family like essentially took me in just showed me everything, like teaching me the language, teaching me the culture, showing me just how things work, how things go, um, you know, different business opportunities, investment opportunities, things like that. And just showed me the way of life here. Like, I even had, like, I went and opened a bank account. This is before Ghana cards and stuff, but, like, I opened a bank account. I didn't even think that was possible, like, without being a citizen or having any type of paperwork here. Um, and that was done through, like, just the level of hospitality that my friend's family set out for me. Level of acceptance, I think that just goes hand in hand with the level of hospitality. Like, uh, they, you know, Ghanaians are very welcoming to foreigners, um, especially, you know, if, if it's just, you know, a friend, a family friend, things like that. Uh, you know, if you're a stranger, they might try to finesse you off some extra money, but it is what it is, right? Then, level of peace. <coughs> um, <coughs> Like, I feel like Ghana is known to just be very peaceful. Like, it's 
not that it never occurs, but it's rare to like hear about um, like violent crimes in Ghana. Like, you know, a lot of scams and fraud and things like that, and like petty robbery and you know petty theft and burglary and things like that. But like, not really violent crimes. <clears throat> not that it doesn't exist, but it's not as uh, prominent as like in New York. Like walking through East New York, like yeah, it's it's, it's a different type of time. So. My family and I have been living in Ghana for about like what five, six months now. And hands down, the most annoying thing about living here in Ghana, it's not the blackouts, it's not the poor customer service, it's not the terrible plumbing issue plaguing every single freaking building here. It's the boat drivers. Like, if it's not one thing, it's another. Where are you? Bruh, use the map. Oh. You're too far. I can't come. I can't. So why'd you accept the trip? Oh, I'm gonna need 10 more cities on top of the fare that's being charged in boat. What? You've arrived at your destination. Oh, wait. This was a car trip? Why didn't you tell me it was a car trip? Bro, what? Why didn't I tell you? Oh, please, sir. I'm gonna need an extra 320 cities on top of this 20-city ride. It's not enough. Yo, there was even one time I got in a boat with my family, right? Dropping them off at Rattray, I was going to do it. We get to Rattray, and bro was like, yeah, it's going to be another 50 cities to go to a doom from here. What you mean? We already started the trip. Like, what, you, what do you mean you need another 50 cities to continue the trip that's already been started? Long story short, after back and forth, I tell him no. He cancels the trip. He stops the trip right there at Rattray. So now I got to get another boat. And I still get charged for the full trip. But to be fair, I've heard that it's only Kumasi boat drivers. I heard your cry is not like this. What's good with y'all in Kumasi, yo? I just want to be very clear. Me and my family, we love Ghana. We love nearly everything about it. But there's some issues here, right? Let's be real. And boat drivers are on top of the list. So listening to them, clearly, all the other things that they said, there is a reason why they moved here. You know, a lot of people have actually said that that couple of times. And when it comes to the annoying things that they spoke about, I don't know whether you've heard this before, but when it comes to boat drivers in Kumasi, I have heard this a lot. You know, sometimes pe these people are people that have come from abroad. They have different experience altogether, you know, and when they come, instead of us as Ghanaians that offer services, treat them right. Look at the way we do. The person has ordered a ride. The price and everything is there. If the person gets there, it's now that you are going to tell the person that they should add something to the already charged money, like the money that has been charged already. Why? I've heard this like a couple of times with Kumasi boat drivers a lot, and I don't know why they do this. It's not nice. It's not nice. Give these people good experience. People, you know, Customer service in Ghana, I know it's not all that good. Yes, but we can do better. Trust me, we can do better. There are certain things that I don't... I feel so bad when I hear some of these things. You hear what he was saying, like, that's a frustration that he has been going on. He said boat drivers are top of the list. And I don't know what boat is also doing to even um, caution this, these drivers. Because it has been going on for a very long time. I don't know. Like, why? It's not nice, man. It's not nice. But I really like the fact that they chose Ghana and when you look at whatever they were saying, they are open-minded, you know? Some of them come here and they see one or two stuff and they start yelling and all that, but it seems like they come in here, they understand that the country is not perfect. We have some things that are not like good. They understand that, but they, are, they also know that there are so many good things about the country and they are still here and they are living here. I always say this, if you are in America and you want to move to any part of the world, for instance, Ghana, you can pick up a remote job and you can do that remote job anywhere in the world. Just look at it, the stress and everything. When you are here and you are working remotely, you are good because the standard of living is very low here. You, you can save a lot of money. There are a lot of things when it comes to rent, when it comes to school, taking your kids to school, 
the money is that like the fees that you paid everything is low compared to like in america so hey be smart i like the way this family have been very smart and moved from there and they are working remotely and they are living well thank you thank you so much for watching